this next subject is very, very dear to my heart. Age discrimination in the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Uh, as you may know, my husband John became a, a quadriplegic after a terrible fall. Because he was over 65 years of age, he was not entitled to access NDIS. There is an age cutoff there. So this morning, to discuss this issue further, we welcome disability advocate Peter Yeo from his home in Brisbane and also NDIS law expert Janine uh, McElwraith. Both of you, a very good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much. Peter, if I could start with you. You became a quadriplegic 17 years ago, and that was well before the NDIS uh, was, uh, uh, was created. What sort of access do you get now to the NDIS? I, I, well, I, I don't get any access whatsoever. The, uh, uh, the people under 65 get all the care they need, all the uh, disability equipment they need, all the physio OTs and all those things. I mean, this is the biggest discrimination case in Australia has ever had. It's disgusting what's, what's happening. And there's only basically uh, one person that can fix it, and that's uh, ScoMo, by changing the uh, legislation. I mean, uh, I don't want to go to the Human Rights Commission uh, in September uh, and um, you know, put, put together the, uh, this, this discrimination. It's, it's the only country in the world who's got this discrimination, it, mm. it's, uh, it's appalling. It is right? appalling. I know that firsthand. Janine, you're from Slater and, and Gordon. This is an area of expertise for you. 65 is the cutoff, but let's discuss age discrimination. Is it illegal to discriminate against age? There is a discriminate, Age Discrimination Act, which does make it unlawful to discriminate on the basis of age in certain circumstances, so things like employment, access to buildings, accessing services. The difficulty is that the Commonwealth Government carves out an exception for itself in most of the uh, discrimination legislation, so as it can make policy decisions, and around funding is one of them. And I think that might be reflected in the NDIS cut-off at the age 65. That's been determined to be the point at which the aged care system should take over care and it should provide the same services to people with a disability. So, Janine, why was the NDIS set up with this age cut-off of 65 years? So, the NDIS came about as a result of a Productivity Commission report in 2011 and it was meant to sit alongside already existing reports, uh, services as part of a broader system of supports and therefore, because there was an already existing aged care service which kicked in at 65, the Productivity Commission recommended that the NDIS cease at 65. Mm. OK, Peter, from your point of view, uh, you're in the aged care system, not NDIS, because you have the temerity to be over 65. How many hours a week help through aged care do you get now? Uh, it, it's very, li very limited. I, I've got specialists letters from seven different doctors mm -hmm. um, basically saying that I should get 24-7 care and I'm not getting it. Um, you just get all. literally if, if, hours if, if, if a I'm week, in, don't if you? I'm in, in my, yeah, very, very limited. OK, uh, so know, now It takes that... me three hours to get it. Sorry. And, and I'm sorry for <laughs> leaping in, but we only have a few minutes to really try and hone this discussion. So sure. it's a handful of hours, Janine, that Peter, as a quadriplegic over the age of mm -hmm. 65, gets. He should be 24-7 or at least 60 hours a week. Why is this not a case for age discrimination? Because quadriplegia, quite specifically this issue, quadriplegia is not an age-related health issue. Why could this not be relevant? It is 100% relevant. Hmm. And uh, you, you, you mentioned in one of your articles, which was fantastic what you and uh, Denise Drysdale are doing and all that, all the, uh, we want all the superstars around the country to get behind this and, and make it work. Um, Indeed. But, you know, we're, we're, we're treating, we're being treated like second-class citizens. You know, it's... Well, uh, I think the government just forgets <laughs> people over 65 actually vote. Janine, why, if quadriplegia is not an age-related issue, why is it considered one? And why is it not discrimination? I think quadriplegia is probably not alone in that 
the way it's been set up, disability under 65 is being treated differently to disability after 65. Interestingly, if you become a participant in the NDIS before you turn 65, you're quite welcome to stay in the NDIS as you age. I think the big issue is that the aged care system is inadequate and it should be matching the services that are available in the NDIS when someone is over 65. And while I do hear your point there, Janine, of course the system is inadequate, but I'm if I was just to concentrate on quadriplegia, age-related issue, discrimination, do we have a case? Can we challenge it? Look, I think... You certainly no harm in trying to challenge it. I think it might be difficult, but even raising awareness um, might lead to a legislation change. And certainly the Human Rights Commission may be able to assist because they can make recommendations to Parliament to change the legislation. And Peter, is that where you're going to head, to the Human Rights Commission? Um, uh, yes, that's definitely happening. The, uh, the, the situation, uh, we don't want to go to court. I'm quite prepared to, by the way. Uh, in every way, shape or form. It just needs uh, money to, to do it. Mm. But uh, it is, it's the legislation that's got to be changed now. We don't want royal commissions and complete waste of money. We want, don't want taxpayers' money to pay for, uh, for court cases against us. It's, 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 it's a shocking what's happening to us. Indeed. Uh, and, and, and the people are really hurting out there. And, and the politicians, ScoMo and people, don't realise, you know, I mean, they should be in, in a chair themselves. You know, we've been told by bureaucrats who are not um, people with disability at all what to do. They've got no idea. You know, it's, it's, it's legislation has got to change and now, immediately. Indeed. And I hear you, Peter, and this is something um, that's been on my mind for a very long time. Uh, but Janine McElrath from um, uh, Slater and Gordon, we do appreciate uh, your, your words this morning. And Peter Yeo, I do appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, there you go, people. Over 65. You, you don't exist, you're dumped into the aged care system. Yes, as Janine said, there are a lot of issues in terms of care should be available. It is not. But this should be an issue because it's not. Quadriplegia is not an age-related health issue. So one of these days, somebody's got to wake up. Remember, people over 65 vote.